Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make homemade liege waffles. If you haven't already tried a liege waffle, then you are in for a treat. This is a must make. A liege waffle is a risen dough that has little things of pearl sugar in it, which melt in the waffle and create a caramelized crust. And let me tell you, they are delicious. To start, you'll need two cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm gonna make mine in a stand mixer, but you can also do this by hand or with a hand mixer. You'll also need one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of instant or active dry yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, and then I'm just gonna give this a quick stir to combine. And then while it's mixing, you'll want to slowly pour in one third of a cup of lukewarm water to get that yeast activated. Then you'll add in three eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, you'll need one cup of melted butter and you'll just wanna slowly pour that in to mix it in with your dough. You should end up with a super wet and sticky dough. Then we'll slide the dough into an ungreased bowl. No need to add any more grease to this. Then we'll cover it with a towel and let it rise for 90 minutes. After 90 minutes of rising, it'll be time to add in our pearl sugar. Now, I found mine in my regular grocery store, but you can also find it in specialty baking stores or just order it online, super easy. So we'll remove the towel. Add in one cup of Belgian pearl sugar, and then you'll just gently stir this into your thick batter. Once that's pretty evenly mixed in, we'll let it rise for another 15 minutes. During this last rise, you'll want to get a Belgian waffle iron preheating. You can use round or square, just make sure it's Belgian style so it's a nice thick waffle. Either brush your waffle iron with butter or spray it with nonstick cooking spray. Then I'll grab a third cup measuring cup and scoop out some of the batter and then plop it into the center of our waffle iron and get it cooking. Liege waffles are meant to be smaller, they're so rich, so you don't wanna try and fill up the entire waffle iron. After a few minutes, it'll be golden brown on both sides. Then just use a fork to remove it from the waffle iron and transfer it to a plate. Then scoop in more batter and keep on cooking until you've used up all of your batter. You can see some of the pearl sugar melts in the waffle iron and it creates this caramelized crust to it that's just so good. These shiny parts are the best. You should end up with between seven and eight waffles. Just take a look at this beautiful stack of liege waffles. They are so good. You can eat them plain. You can serve them up with strawberries and cream. I like to put a little Nutella on there, maybe some cookie butter. Any way you float it, this is gonna be good. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.